Well, right now we are getting a closer look at Brian Williams, who is only one month into his six month suspension at NBC. A new expose claims Brian's ambitions went beyond anchoring the nightly news that he wanted to be the new king of late night. Brian Williams wanted to be a late night comedian. For years, Brian Williams was known as the anchor man that could turn a joke. <laughs> Williams have been unabashed about his freelance entertainment gigs like hosting SNL and guesting on 30 Rock. Hey, forget about it. And now New York Magazine's Gabriel Sherman reports that before Fallon took over for Jay Leno, Williams had gone to NBC and pitched himself for the job. He was given a news magazine show, Rock Center, instead. Brian Williams had hoped Rock Center would turn into more of a variety show, but instead it became a softer version of 60 Minutes, and after two seasons it was canceled. It didn't work. According to Sherman, Brian's next pitch was to jump from NBC to CBS. And within the last year, he pitched CBS CEO Les Moonves, about taking over for David Letterman. Our colleague Brian Williams is back in Kuwait City tonight after a close call on the skies over Iraq. Then came the disastrous revelations of Williams fabricating that story of coming under fire in Iraq. In early February, NBC execs met with Williams and his wife Jane to discuss taking Brian off the air. She protested and she said, you can't take him off the air because that will send a message that he has done something wrong. And she had not been reading any of the negative press coverage. Brian's reported response, quote, honey, you haven't seen this stuff. Right now, Brian Williams is in exile. He's strategizing with his advisors. As of now, no one knows what Brian Williams' fate is. Well, the article also claims that Brian cannot wait to be able to speak out. He wants to speak for himself.